knowing which auto manufacturer own which auto brand matters because I do want to know who actually owns which brand. You know, after doing a bit of research, I realized that the auto industry is kind of like the MTV show The Challenge. Everyone tries to own each other, everyone gets bought and sold to each other, except for the big guys and minus the drama and backstabbing. Maybe. There's also a lot of joint ventures and partnerships between car companies, so it kind of blurs a line between who is working with and helping with and owning who. So let's see which of the top 20 auto manufacturers actually own which car brands. By the way, I apologize ahead of time for butchering some of these car company names. Starting at number 20, we have SAIC Motors. They are a Chinese auto manufacturer and is known as one of the big four of China, kind of like our big three here in America. They own Ro, which is a Chinese luxury car company, and surprisingly, they also own MG, a British car company. Love those MG Morgans, by the way. At number 19, we have BAIC, which stands for Beijing Automotive Industry Holding Company. Obviously, they're a Chinese car company and is often ranked just outside of the big four over there in China. Number 18 is Dongfeng Motors Company. They are a Chinese automaker and is considered one of the big four in China. Number 17 is Subaru. Now, I have a soft spot for them in my heart because I actually had a Subaru Forester and it was a great car. They are part of Fuji Heavy Industries and operates out of Japan. Number 16 is Chang'an Automobile. They are one of the big four in China and is the second most popular domestic car brand in China. Number 15 is Tata Motors, an Indian auto manufacturing company. Aside from themselves, they also own Daewoo Motors, which is a Korean car company, and Jaguar and Land Rover, which are British car companies. Number 14 is Mazda. They had a lot of partnerships with other auto manufacturers, particularly with Ford, but is more self-reliant as their cars these days have been on a steady rise in sales. Also, their new Mazda 3 looks really good, especially the hatchback. Number 13 is Geely. Officially, the name is Zhenjiang Geely Holding Group Company. They currently own Geely Auto, Lotus, a British car company, Link & Co, a Chinese-Swedish auto brand, Proton, which is a Malaysian car company, Volvo, a Swedish car company, and London Electric Vehicle Company, who makes taxis. Number 12 is Bavarian Motor Works, better known as BMW. This is the brand that sells the quote-unquote the ultimate driving machine, and they currently own the BMW brand, the Mini, and the Rolls-Royce, a British luxury car maker. Is it just me, or am I seeing a trend here with these British car companies? Number 11 is Daimler AG. They own the Mercedes-Benz brand, Maybach, a luxury car maker, and the smart cars. I feel like BMW and Mercedes-Benz is copying each other. They own their own brand, a luxury brand, and a small car brand. Number 10 is Suzuki. Suzuki is the only solo brand in the top 10. 10th worldwide in sales, third largest in Japan, pretty good for a company that failed in America, but is obviously holding strong worldwide. Their motorcycles are no joke either, but we're only talking cars in this video. Number 9 is the PSA Group. This group currently owns the Peugeot brand, Citroën, Opel, Vauxhall, and DS Automobile, and they operate and sell primarily in Europe. At number 8 is Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. They own Abarth, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Dodge, Fiat, Fiat Professional, Jeep, Lancia, Maserati, and Ram Trucks. Oh, fun fact and something I didn't know, Ferrari was actually spun off from this group in 2016. Number 7 is Honda. They own the Honda brand and Acura, and oh, they make that cool robot Asimo. I want one. I just can't afford one. Number 6 is Ford Motor Company. At the moment, they currently own the Ford brand and the luxury counterpart Lincoln. They also own Troller, a Brazilian off-road vehicle manufacturer. Here's a fun fact with Ford. They used to own the following auto companies and some will surprise you. Mercury, Continental, Edsel, Merker, Jaguar, Aston Martin, Volvo, Land Rover, Mazda, and FPV. Oh, Ford, imagine you still own some of these companies. Number five is Hyundai. They own the Hyundai brand, Kia, and the luxury car company, Genesis. Cars isn't the only thing that Hyundai sells, which is probably why their cars are getting better and better with each new iteration. If they don't get better, that department of Hyundai would probably get shut down. Not to mention they got K-pop stars pushing their cars. Number four belongs to GM. They currently own Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Holden, Wuling, Baojun, Jiafeng, three Chinese automakers. 
I just wish some of the cars that Holden made were brought here to the U.S. Just wishful thinking, I suppose. The number three spot belongs to the Renault Nissan Group. They control 10 major brands. It's Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Infiniti, Venusia, Renault Samsung Motors. I feel like they should change that name. Kind of sounds like they got lazy in the creative department. They also own Dacia, Alpine, Datsun, and Lada. Number two is held by Toyota. Toyota currently owns the Toyota brand, Lexus, Hino, Pans, and Daihatsu. When you have a car like the Corolla that has sold millions of units, I think you're okay. I just hope they don't mess up the Supra, which is set to launch soon. And we are finally at number one. This spot is currently owned by Volkswagen, and they own the most YouTube popular car brands on this list. They are Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Scania, Seat, Skoda, Porsche, Man, and Ducati. Now, I know Ducati isn't a car company, but they're big in the motorcycle game and is worth the mention. So there you have it, the top 20 manufacturers and what part of the car world they control, and it's a lot. So what do you think? Do you like your car more or less now that you know it's owned by a different company? Sound off on the comments, and as always, subscribe to see more videos. And that's why knowing which car company owns which car brands matters. See you in the next one.